Hey, Tim Alden here from the new shop. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. We've been pretty busy getting the new setup in this 3,200 square foot historic building. And we'll show you a little tour of the progress in another video. But anyway, we wanted to get back to our instructional videos. We got some new styles of our leather earring blanks, a teardrop diamond, and we got three patterns that you can download for free, whether you buy the blanks for us, it's got the outline if you wanna hand cut them, or you can leave the cut into us. We got a die and we can just click them out pretty good and you don't have to buy a whole hide of leather just to do a couple pairs of earrings. So anyway, let's get started carving these things. Okay, we're gonna put a little water on here. Like my first video on carving the leather earrings, I've taped my earring blanks down to a couple of pieces of masking tape. That way I can throw a weight on it and I can be working on this one because otherwise they're pretty hard to hold. And so we're gonna go ahead and do this little cactus design again. Before I cut my patterns out of the paper, I put packing tape over the top of them. That way the water doesn't get into the paper and make it uh, soft for tracing on. So we're just gonna take our stylus you can buy a cheapo stylus from anywhere, Springfield leather, Tandy leather, and then just grind the ballpoint off of it so it's a little finer. And it'll make a nicer impression. Put this little grass in. It's really important to get these little grass pieces in correctly. Just kidding, it's grass, it's natural. Okay, so now that we got our pattern on there, we'll go ahead and cut this out. It's a quarter inch thin blade, three eighths barrel Berry King. Use Berry King tools, because one, they're made in the USA, and two, they're really nice and affordable. And your design, it's kind of a, more of a suggestion. I'd rather have a smooth curve than stay within the lines. And those little pieces of grass, we'll get those after we bevel because you'll cover them up anyways. So we can go ahead and put our weight on. I'm gonna start out with my number one Berry King checkered beveler. We're just gonna kind of cruise around here, get all the straight spots. Like that smaller lifter for these round corners rather than try to bevel them. If you have an aught or a double aught Berry King beveler, you can get in those small radiuses, but uh, I don't use them very often, so I don't usually have them around. So cruise around there. Make it as smooth as possible. On these corners, you can tip it to the outside and just roll it around there. That's how you get nice corners without being choppy. Don't have a lot of water on here either. So we're gonna come in with that lifter. It's gonna help getting those tight corners. Okay, so once we've got that beveled out, we we'll come back with the stylus. I'm just gonna draw in some lines on this cactus. Kind of shade things a bit. Kind of roll around there. Kind of give it some character.
You can put a little hole like a bird's living in it there. So then we'll come back with our swivel knife and I'll put little stickers on it and I just kind of keep them random. You just kind of tip the blade back. Put them in there. Little sharp points. Now we're going to put our grass in. Pretty much got rid of most of what was already there, but it's pretty simple. Just kind of create some foliage down here. And last thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our stylus. You can do a molding tool if you want, and we're just going to round those edges that we beveled a little bit. Just kind of soften them so it's not so square. Kind of makes that cactus look a little rounder. And there you have it. Okay. So now we're going to put a little color on this cactus. Stole this trick from Dustin Loftus, and uh, it's pretty handy. You probably didn't know Sharpie was getting into the leather business, but uh, they're a real up and comer. So I'm just going to put a couple of lines here with my darker Sharpie. Got the color pack off of Amazon. Pretty sweet. All the colors under the sun. This looks pretty bright lime, but uh, once you actually get it on the leather, it's not so bad. Go right up to those edges. Laying that dark one on there ahead of time. Kind of gives it some cool shadowing. Now that we got the Sharpie on there, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to put a clear coat over the top and then we're going to antique it and then follow up with a clear coat after that. Meet you at the dye bench. So we got our cactus drawn on there with our Sharpie marker. We're going to go ahead and hit those with a little Phoebe's saddle lac. They don't pay me for this, but they should. And. If you live in California, you can't use this stuff. Well, at least you can't buy it in California or have it shipped there. Most companies won't, but you can use Phoebe's tan coat. It's a little softer finish to it. It doesn't have as much contrast when we go to antique, but it does a pretty good job. We're gonna go ahead and let all of these dry for about 20 minutes, half hour, then we'll come back. So now we're gonna put our antique finish on. I like the Sheridan Brown Antique Paste by Phoebings, my favorite color, so buy it in the big jug. And so, once again, I just got a piece of sheep's wool that is sheared down so it's not as thick. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply this on here. We'll get it in all the cracks. Try not to get it everywhere all over the table. So it gets on the back, you can kind of clean it up if you have to, but anyway, make sure you get it rubbed into all the cracks pretty good. Cover the whole surface. And we're gonna wipe off the excess.
So usually I'll let these guys dry overnight before I put the top coat on. Just makes that antique really uh, dry good so it doesn't peel out of there. And uh, it'll be a little foggy when we come back to it, but we'll put a top coat on it and it'll brighten right back up and look real nice. And then I'll hit these with our saddle act. You wanna shake it up real good. Get a good top coat on them. Clean the top out, call it good. Well, thanks for stopping by. Hope you like this video and instructions on how to do these. We're gonna go ahead and put the uh, earring hangers on them, take pictures. You can check out our website where we sell the blanks to see the finished product photo, and we'll see you next time.